Today I am sharing over 150 trial close examples, which is language that you can use all the way through a conversation or a webinar or a sales pitch to get people to say yes to you or nod their head to you all the way through so that they end up saying yes to your sales pitch at the end of the presentation. My name is Kath Kyle from kathkyle.com and I help entrepreneurs to earn more, work less and have more fun in the process. And I share a lot of mindset information to help entrepreneurs to improve their mindset so that they can be more successful in business. So if this sounds like something that you're interested in, I would love it if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel and click that bell for further notifications. So let's get started with today's content. 150 plus trial close examples, which are easy questions to secure the sale. Here are some examples of easy questions known as trial closes that you can ask during a conversation or online marketing that lead to a sale at the end. The more times you can get somebody to say yes to your questions during a conversation or online content, the more likely they are to say yes to the sale. This is because they have been in agreement with you the whole way through the interaction and their brain is now being used to saying yes to you. So they're much more likely to purchase whatever it is that you're selling. These questions are called trial closes and they feel light and easy to use. And people actually appreciate you using trial closes as it shows that you care that they are following what you're saying. How awesome is that? So you can insert these trial closes into all of your sales and marketing communication. Here are some of the best places to use trial closes. In one-to-one -one sales conversations, in blog posts, in podcasts, in videos, in sales pages, sales videos, webinars, emails, ads, in, inside your products, including your courses and your books, during live streams and in your social media posts. So can you see how many different areas of your business that you could benefit from using these trial closes? So here are over a hundred trial close examples, easy way questions that you can use to secure the sale. So you scatter these in as you are going through. So these are little phrases that you can use. So let's get started. Number one, does this make sense to you? Two, is this making sense so far? Three, isn't this awesome? Four, how fantastic is that? Five, can you believe how amazing that is? Six, isn't she inspiring? Seven, isn't that motivating? Eight, are you understanding what I'm saying so far? Nine, are you following what I'm saying? Ten, I hope you're grasping this. Eleven, let me know if this is making sense so far. 12, do you feel like you're mastering this? 13, do you catch my drift? 14, is this registering? 15, am I giving you something to latch onto? 16, are you getting the hang of this? 17, do you get the idea? 18, have you got light bulbs going off in your brain right now? 19, can you believe this? 10, can you feel how good this is? 21, is this getting you thinking? 22, is this getting your brain whirring? 23, did you catch that? 24, did you notice that? 25, do you get the idea? 26, are you soaking all of this up? 27, are you digging this? 28, can you comprehend how good this is? 29, do you recognize yourself in what I just shared? 30, are you seeing the light? 31, do you get the picture? 32, do you get the point? 33, can you identify with that? 34, are you making sense of this? 35, are you taking this in? 36, do you get my meaning here? 37, is this registering how good this is? 38, did you take note of what I just said there? 39, are you reading this right? 40, is this all sinking in for you? 41, are you taking the time to digest all of this? 42, are you getting this so far? 
43. I hope this is all making sense so far. 44. I hope this is all clicking into place. 45. How does my explanation sound to you? 46. Can you see this working for you? 47. How is this going so far? 48. How does that sound? 49. Do you see how this can benefit you? 50. Does this sound useful to you? 51. What do you think? 52. Does this sound interesting to you? 53. How do you feel about this, dis this discussion? 54. Did my explanation answer your concerns? 55. Do you need more information to answer your concerns? 56. How did my presentation appeal to you? 57. What do you think about this? 58. How do you like this so far? 59. Based on what I've discussed so far, what questions do you still have? 60. Is there anything else you'd like me to discuss? 61. Do you think I missed a point regarding your concern? 61. How does this solution sound? 60, 63. Which points do you think I've missed? 64. How does our talk sound to you? 65. Are there any details you think we need to discuss some more? 66. What do you think would make this sound more interesting to you? 67. If you had it your way, how would you change this? 68. Does what I've discussed interest you? 69. Is that something that you're interested in learning about? 70. So are you looking to get started on this right away? 71. Is my solution something that you could agree, agree on? 72. Does this sound like a good deal to you? 73. Is this solution something you're interested in? 74. Do you think this could be the answer to you, your concerns? 75. What do you think of this? 77. 76. When is the best time to email you for more information about this? 77. Does this sound like something you'll be interested in? 78. Does this sound good to you? 79. What are your thoughts about this? 80. Do you think this is something we can give a go? 81. Do you see us working this thing out with you soon? 82. What steps would you like to take next? 83. Do you feel like this suits your needs? 84. Do you think this could work for you? 85. Do you think this is good? 86. How does this feature sound to you? 87. Is this something that you're going to need soon? 88. Do you feel that we can explain more about this? 89. How about I explain how this works to your advantage? 90. Is this something you think you can benefit from? 91. Do you feel ready to take this to the next step? 92. Which points do I need to give you more insights on? 93. Is this solution something you've been waiting to hear? 94. Are there any doubts you want me to clear up? 95. Do you want me to explain more about this? 96. Do you find this helpful? 97. Do you think this answered your questions? 98. Are there any points you want me to discuss? 99. Do you prefer this one from the last one you had? 100. Is this something that sparks your interest? 101. Would you mind if I, if I give you a walkthrough? 102. Would this satisfy your needs? 103. Do you see yourself benefiting from this? 104. How do you want this to work out? 105. Do you have any specific brands you have in mind to compare to this? 106. Do you mind if we go through the figures and see if this works for you? 107. How about we discuss your specific concerns? 108. What prevents you from agreeing to my proposal? 109. Is there anything that hinders you from giving us the go signal? 110. How are you enjoying our discussion so far? 111. Do you need me to elaborate on some points? 112. Are you satisfied with this? 113. Do you prefer something more useful? 
114. Is that something you're cool about? 115. Is this something you prefer to have? 116. Is this something you're looking for? 117. Does this answer your concern? 118. Would you like us to assist you more? 119. Is there anything else you need more explanation about? 120. Does this sound like a good fit? 121. Do you have any questions about this? 122. Does this meet your requirements? 123. Do you have any other requirements you wish to be met? 124. Is there anything else I could add to my proposal? 125. What are your next steps after this discussion? 126. Do you mind if I tell you more about the advantages of my proposal? 127. Does my explanation satisfy your curiosity? 128. Does this proposal go with your plans? 129. Do you see yourself benefiting from this? 130. Can you visualise yourself profiting from this? 131. Do you now realise its potential benefits to you? 132. Would that work for you? 133. Does this proposal sound inviting to you? 134. Is this something you've been researching about? 135. Do you think you're getting a good deal with this? 136. Did you find offers like this before? 137. What are your thoughts about our promotional offer? 138. Are there any potential deal breakers that you're hesitant to discuss now? 139. How do you like this service to benefit you more? 140. Does this sound like a good choice to make? 141. Does this sound like the answer you've been looking for? 142. Did I cover everything you need to know? 143. Will you be making decisions based on this discussion? 144. Am I hitting the right spot? 145. Do you prefer it if I discuss this more thoroughly with you? 146. Am I close to convincing you? 147. Does my proposal sound convincing enough to you? 148. Did I miss anything? 149. Could you see yourself profiting from this? 150. Does this proposal tick the right boxes for you? 51. Am I missing anything? 52. Is this something you only heard of today? 153. Is this something you've never heard before? 154. Have you heard of a deal as awesome as this one? 155. How do you feel about the payment terms? 156. Do you think this proposal could get any better? 157. Are you satisfied with my explanation? 158. Does this proposal suit your taste? So now that you've got all of my trial close examples and you understand exactly how to get other people to say yes to you, you might be looking for the right tools that your online business needs for success. So I have a free gift for you that will give you all of the tools that I use to create a six figure blog. And this is the ultimate passive income toolkit. And you can either get this by clicking on the link below or you can go to the blog post and get it there. So in conclusion, do you see how it doesn't take a lot of work to formulate and come up with your own trial close examples that will drive more sales for your business? Simply refer back to this list for inspiration so that you can be equipped with the right words and styles to manoeuvre a convincing sales conversation and marketing campaign. While most entrepreneurs and salespeople would swear by the ABC always be closing, it also pays to insert the T in the middle. You should always be trial closing in order for you to succeed with potential clients and create more profit in your business. So I hope it's registering how powerful this technique is. So are you going to go and try it and see for yourself? If you would like to get all of these trial closes, I will leave the link to the blog post in the video link below. So you can go and check that out for later. And I have many more great blog posts and good videos that you are going to like. So I encourage you to go and subscribe to my YouTube channel and also subscribe 
to my e-courses and get my freebie on my blog. So I would love it if you would subscribe for later and until next video, take care and I'll see you soon.